In this video, our coach will introduce you to the boxing equipment called Speedbag, which is also called One of the most interesting tools in boxing. The first thing it gives is neuromuscular, fast reactions, which are developing the feeling of distance, punch dosage, the direction of a punch, and most importantly, what determines the strength of a punch is accuracy. And also, on this tool, it's easiest to explain in general how the training takes place on other tools. It must be beaten up to three minutes. Initially, all work on the speedback should not be more than 15 minutes. Because I think that after the first three minutes, you will already understand what it is. Today we will show the whole range of punches that are necessary for the development of punches in general. There are many punches in boxing, and the punches are different in terms of quality, strength and speed. The very first skill is a slow approach to the tool. That is, don't try to hit it hard. The easiest way is to start with the palm fist, in order to understand how it moves, so that there is already a sight on the very line of the punch. These are the simplest movements for beginners. Once you push it, it hits the platform three times. You meet it in the middle, in the widest place. Here, on the speedback, an icon is even drawn. Well, in this case, where to aim. After getting acquainted with the speedback, the very first punch that you can do is a hammer one. This is the simplest punch. This is a reflex punch. It is shaped by nature itself. Because, as my coach said, even girls can hit like this. In fact, this is a very serious punch in boxing. This punch is used in terms of knockoff. That is, you can knock off with this punch. It looks like this. The simplest form. One. Another. And you need to stand here frontally. That is, well, the simplest first stance. There is no need to do any transfers of body weight, and so on and so on, because the beginner most likely won't even understand what it is. Therefore, after these punches, you can move on to more complex options, such as punching with metacarpal bones. The difference between this punch and this punch is small. In fact, this is the movement of one system of biomechanics. That is, such a punch and this one are muscularly performed in the same way. Just because of the stabilizing muscles that are on the hand, your muscles unfold. And this is how you can hit harder. One more thing. If in the first case you make a small circle, then, in the second case, you strictly hit in a straight line. That is, this line is already straight. It seems to go out a little, as if falling down from above. But in fact, it is a straight line. So this punch here is more difficult than this punch here. It has to do with the location of the muscles. The strongest punch in boxing is performed on the bones for a reason. It is connected with the muscular skeleton. The structure of the muscles, the stronger you clench your fist at the very last moment, the easier it will be to accentuate it, to stop it correctly. This speedback is in its most simple use. I'm talking from simple muscle tension to relaxation. Everything is simple, both in this way and this way and this one. A boxer learns to tense properly just at the moment of compression. You get a strong movement. This model here is ideally correct. 
it is complex in terms of structure of the contraction. As long as your muscles are not in great tone, you do it easily. But as soon as the muscles begin to numb, it's a trouble, big trouble. Therefore, it will be easiest for a beginner to explain to squeeze his hand. If you want to hit hard, just squeeze your whole hand. And like a cudgel, really like a cudgel, that is a boxing punch and a boxing fist, it is from here to here, because the muscles that hold the fist are here. So from the point of view of the hammer, you can just strain your hand a lot. In fight, it happens that you don't always get an ideal hit model. That is, from the point of view of pressing already at the end. Well, as a rule, everything changes quickly. Your goal may be closer, and if you suddenly didn't squeeze your hand in time, then most likely you will injure your wrist. So starting like this, you can smoothly move to this. Two forms of punching. Now this is a diverse combination. These are different muscle work. That is, this is how you knock off, this is how you hit. Knock off, hit, knock off, hit. This is where the irreversible part of the brain begins. Because the brain performs a lot of functions in a very short time. One hemisphere begins to negotiate with the other hemisphere. And thus, the most accurate model of punch representation is created. The next punches are, well, in terms of their form, they can even be a little more difficult. They already begin after you have already mastered this tool. In terms of speed, clarity, understanding the sense of rhythm, one punch after another, that is, speed and power. Next, we will show the punches that are already concerned the professionals. One of the most difficult punches is considered short. Here is a long punching, a long one, and there is a short punching, which is generally formed on very short muscles. That is, here you do not take your hand away, and it doesn't work for you in terms of total muscle use, but is almost in static tension. It almost never comes back. This is how a master class is already defined. This is already about strength. You can also bring it out like this, from the edge of the hand. I will slowly show now. Here we are already on the metacarpal bounce and twist the hand at different angles. Here you can already shift the weight of the body and you can move the speed back. All the punch patterns you might have in fight can be rehearsed here. Further, if you can beat in this position, then you can run it in a circle. This is a very difficult exercise, which is why I said that it is already defined by the master class. This is already an indicator of the feeling of the tool, how you feel it, and the work of different muscles. You can also shift on your feet. And try to beat it already in the movement of all muscles. Next come the punches that come from the first and second. That is, roughly speaking, there are long with the transition to short ones. Then there are exercises, which are called as special exercises. These are double punches, that are done back and forth. If you can knock it there, this is the speed only in one direction. That is, you need to understand that in boxing, the speed is considered when it's forward 
and backward. When you hit there and it hovered, most likely you will receive a retaliatory punch. So, quietly, back and forth. This is with the edge of the hand. This is already with the fist. All punches are useful, all. The principle of work is one. But there are a lot of skills. The more skills, neuromuscular reactions you develop, the easier it will be to present a picture, or, let's say, to form a battle pattern. So, if it's possible this way, it is possible this way too. Then it is possible like this, to make it from the side. There are punches that are performed with a double, with explosive power, that is, from a sharp attack to complete relaxation. It looks like this. So it starts to stop, and you start to catch it. It's called the double. If so, with the edge of the hand, then it also hits, as in boxing. We can accelerate it with intervals. We can accelerate it without intervals. Working out here as well. You can alternate hands, make one with edge of the palm, the other with the metacarpal bounce. One, two. You also accelerate it, beat it off and hit it right away. Once again I say, approach slowly to this tool. All learning, on a speed bag, from one month to six months. As soon as you get used to one, the muscle gets used to it, you need to change the degree, the angle, that is, from all sides. If, as it were, constantly hammering it in one mode, well, there is a little sense from this. A person will get used to it very quickly. The most difficult hits are when the back and forth is already in full cycle mode. The history of this back is actually ancient. Already in the 20s there were similar options, they just differed in weight, in size. By the way, about size, this is a drop. There are also very small bags, half as small as this one. There are bigger bags. This one is a speed bag. All of them, as it were, are sharpened to different sizes. From the point of view of renewal, that is, you hang a small bag, it returns faster. And therefore, the principle is updated. That is, the brain begins to switch already from a heavy one. For example, when I was a little kid, at the beginning, we had a big Soviet bag, and we beat it in only one mode. Because the coach, well, as the coach showed, that's how we worked. In general, in working with this bag, the Soviet legacy left a very large school. We initially had training for beginners, and all beginners began to work with a speed bag. The bag is really unique. And from the point of view of the legacy that our coaches and Soviet specialists left, they all say the same thing about one thing, that this bag helps. Of course, you can do without it. And I knew many boxers, both good and masters, who never hit this bag at all. They just didn't see it. Because on the periphery, this bag was rarely seen in clubs. Already the appointment of the Olympic Reserve already such very developed sports schools in sports clubs. Very different rhythms. Unfortunately, I can't show all the rhythms. I can only show those rhythms that I do myself. But I know that they beat it in general in different ways. The more varied, the better. There are also the Americans who came up with, as the Americans say, this is the development of a punch from below. A side punch is also placed, as it were, on the same back. You just do not hit in, 
a straight line, but simply start to make an arc. Well, it's clear that if it's possible this way, it's possible the other way too. The most important thing here is to get used to the rhythm and catch the back. You can also do this exercise quickly, with two hands, each time change the direction of the back. All exercises are effective, even those exercises that seem to you like meh, about nothing. In fact, this is the work of the brain, boxing is in your head, it's your idea of speed, accuracy, and so on and so on. All these factors determine strength, skill. So love this back, respect it unconditionally, and develop yourself, it will definitely help you.